What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Minnesota Gophers Dynasty. And the Gophers, after one half of the season, are 4-2 and two, and we have won four games straight. All of those games in the Big Ten Conference definitely helping out our division standings as we now take on the winless Northwestern Wildcats as we look for win number five in a row before a tough road trip upcoming against Illinois, Nebraska, and the Auburn Tigers of the SEC. Here is a look at Northwestern's roster, and they're not a very bad team. They have a lot of good players, especially on offense, but they have not won a game, and we can't let our guard down against them at home before a road trip upcoming. So can the Gophers get win number five in a row? It is time to kick off week eight in the Minnesota Dynasty. Zach Oliver leads the Northwestern offense out to begin the football game. Seven of 17 for only 86 yards in his previous game. We'll see if our defense can give him some trouble today as we've been playing well as of late, especially the game against Iowa where we only allowed 13 points. First third down of the day, Oliver is going to fake and keep it himself. Inside run as a whole, and he bursts through cross midfield for a 19-yard run. Our defense unable to get a stop that time. Can they do it on this third down? They need eight yards. The screen set up. Jones broke a tackle up past the 40. Has the first down for Northwestern. And we had him right there. Could have been a one-yard gain. Instead, Northwestern has a first down. Oliver, the keeper again. On first down and 10 into the secondary as he's tackled by Andre Gaines. But it's another 17 yards for Zach Oliver. Wildcats driving into the red zone and Oliver to throw again on second down. Over the middle. It's caught and it's a touchdown for the Wildcats. Pierre Youngblood, 13-yard touchdown reception. Gives Northwestern the first points on the day. 7-0 Wildcats here on the road. Can Minnesota now answer back with our first offensive possession? We're going to come out and spread it out a little bit. Four wide receivers as Nelson gives to Roderick Williams and met in the backfield. Nowhere to go. I actually lost two on that play. Normally we go to our diamond package on that first play, but we're going with a little shotgun to get things started today. And this is Andre McDonald on the reception, a seven-yard catch. Would like to get him more involved with the offense. Now third down and five. Nelson to the air, outside, and Kevin Martindale is there playing some slot wide receiver. He is too talented to be on the bench as much as he has been. New set of downs and the option to the right. Nelson goes to pitch, and the ball knocks loose backwards, and Isaac Hayes recovers. Disastrous play, a loss of 12, trying to pitch it back. So second down and long, Nelson fires, has an open man, and Lincoln pulls sec for the first time in a few weeks, makes a reception, that's a 16 yard catch. Minnesota now needs five yards for a first down. Nelson, under pressure, and sacked. Nelson goes down for a loss of nine. Minnesota will stall on their opening possession, and the punt will go to Northwestern. Here is the punt from Morris, as he boots it away, and from about the 32-yard line, this is Oliver. Not the quarterback, even on the right side. Up past the 50, and powering through a tackle. That's a 20-yard return for Sean Oliver. In Minnesota territory, but facing a third down and four, a potential three and out. They go to the screen again. This is Neal. Has one man to get by, and has blockers out in front, and they'll just lead him into the end zone. 41 yards to Justin Neal. That was a perfect screen call on a third down where we blitzed two linebackers. We've been blitzing a lot more as of late, and that was just a really good counter. So 14-0 Wildcats early advantage as Minnesota has to get going. Second down, the pass is to Andre McDonald, our seven-yard reception for him, his second on the day. Third down and two, the give is to Roderick Williams. To the first down marker and cut down short. Wrapped up and did not get it. Not the start we wanted, especially against a winless team. You can see the numbers already, 12 plays to 9, but big discrepancy in terms of yardage and obviously points. First and 10, Northwestern ball, third time on the day, and Justin Neal is hit down and only got about one yard. Minnesota crowds the box on second down. Oliver to the air, rolls right, and down he goes. Sacked on the play by Theron Cochran. That's a loss of seven, so a third down and long. Can't let your guard down on third down and 16. Oliver slides right, throws across his body, and it's almost intercepted. Andre Gaines almost had the pick. Bounces off his hands, it's still fourth down, and Minnesota has the ball with no more damage done. 14 point game, trying to get this offense started. And Roderick Williams, on a first down and 20, gets 20 on the ground. Nice job, Roderick, it's a first down. Second down and six, it's Kevin Martindale. Trying to find a crease and he gets about three, so a third and medium upcoming. 
KJ May checks into the game at the slot receiver position. Three wide in the set as Nelson with nobody open trying to escape and he can't. Sacked again, he lost six. Had some room to run, but it was closed immediately. And Northwestern has the ball again. Minnesota still has not scored. We're in the second quarter as Justin Neal gets the handoff. And we'll get about six on this carry. We can use a big play here on third down and inches. Oliver to the air. Soft zone coverage and Dickerson underneath. He's across the 50 on this reception. 15 yards. And in Minnesota territory once again. It's already 14 to 0. All Northwestern so far. And this is Pierre Youngblood. Stumbles after making the reception. But gets his footing back and gets about 10 yards. Now we're going to go back to Justin Neal. Another big opening as he's across the 20. Our run defense slacking the last couple of weeks. Second down, Oliver will fake keep it himself. He ran through a defender and inside the five is Zach Oliver. That is a gain of seven. It's a goal to go situation for the Wildcats. Oliver inside give to Jones to the goal line and he crosses. Three yard rushing touchdown and Northwestern all of a sudden has a 21 to zero lead over Minnesota. Our offense has not even gotten started yet. We've yet to cross the 50. To the air we go. We were so good throwing last week, but a slow start to the run game and pass game. Really inconsistent play. We're going to give it to Martindale. He'll take it outside, trying to turn the corner and find the edge, but he's cut down for a gain of 10. We just have to string together more first downs in a row. We've yet to do that today. Second down, and there's Adam Kirkpatrick in the seam. Finally, the Gophers in plus territory for the first time today. And Nelson with a diamond package in again. Underneath, it's Roderick Williams. A screen was set up. He had blockers in front. Trying to find the first down marker and gets about a half yard short. So second down and inches. Diamond again. This is Martindale. An opening into the 10. Into the 5. And Martindale down to the 1. A 23 yard carry. Minnesota knocking on the door. This is Roderick Williams. And Minnesota is finally on the board. This is no longer a 21-0 game. 21-7. Good drive for the Gophers. Got a couple of big runs on that drive to help us out. And it's a 14-point ball game with two minutes to go on the half. Defense now. Can they do their part? Oliver has all day to pass. And he'll find Dickerson eventually as he is just shy of midfield. But a 22-yard catch. After only what was like 84 yards passing last game, Oliver is winging it around the field today. Here's Dan Vitel for another nine yard catch. We're not really getting much pressure on Oliver and he's just having way too many open throwing lanes. Underneath this time, it's checked down to Hill and powering through our, oh my goodness, guys. We gotta settle down on defense. Giving up way too many extra yards and now need a big play on third down and one to stop him. It's an option and the pitch is to Neal. Across the first down marker inside the five and Neal down to the three as Minnesota is a few yards away from allowing another first half touchdown if they can't make a play. First and goal, Oliver, Pierre, Youngblood, touchdown Northwestern. 28 first half points, 14 of 17 throwing, three touchdown passes. So far, neither the offense nor the defense have shown up today, and Nelson misses an easy one there behind his target. So third down and nine. We have 38 seconds until halftime. Nelson over the middle, and Doug Duckett can't hang on. He did take a hard shot on that one, so it wasn't a wide open drop, but a disappointing first half to say the least. It's 28 to seven. We've came back from deficits like this before, but it's still, it sucks to start this way. We have to make a big comeback in the second half and it's up next. The second half is about to kick off as Minnesota tries to come back from 21 points down after a disastrous first half. Defense didn't play well, offense was mediocre, and the special teams now getting us there with David Clark across the 30, up past the 40, and pushed out of bounds, but a nice return to get us going. We have to move fast. Down 21, beginning of the third quarter, and Nelson goes to work quickly through the air, a five wide formation, and it's Andre McDonald for a gain of five. We'll stick with a five wide set as Nelson back to the air he goes and overthrows KJ May who probably would have had the first down instead. Third down and five. Three wide for Philip Nelson. He's going to throw it to his left and Roderick Williams tries to make a spinning catch and drop the football. Minnesota's going to go for it on fourth down and five from their own 48 yard line. Nelson to David Clark. What is going on today? 
David Clark dropped a wide open pass and Minnesota turns it over on downs. As we get the third quarter started so far, not much has changed and perhaps has gotten worse. Justin Neal up the middle, not much is there, so a third and six, and man, we need a play here. Oliver with nobody open, decides to take off, up past the 40, has the first down, and Northwestern moves the chains as they have entered field goal range. Gotta get the spine effect, Oliver's been taking off too much, and now Neal's gonna hurt us on the ground. He ran through a defender, got a big gain of 20 yards. Their offense has been moving effectively all day, but now a third and ten. Can we stop him here? Dumped it off to Hill. Jack Lynn is there for the solid tackle. Northwestern is held to three as our offense comes back out. Once again, five wide. Actually, Roger Williams is in the game at receiver. And what was that, Philip Nelson? We actually had a perfect bubble screen set up that time. How do you screw that up? Second down and ten. Philip Nelson on the run and... I think that hit Wolitarski coming across as it was intended for another receiver. Things are snowballing out of control right now. Third and ten. Thank you, David Clark, for at least catching this one. 13 yards. Move the chains for Minnesota. Got to move fast, though. Five wide. The double bubble screen is set up. Nelson's going to roll. Nobody was open. Takes his shot. Caught by David Clark. First down in Northwestern territory. But a flag is down. Pass interference on the offense. They're going to flag Andre McDonald, who was one of the blockers on this play. And this is all he did on the entire play. Goes and meets a defender, then goes low on him. They call him for a pass interference. Third down and 13. Nelson looking for a big play. It's David Clark on the reception. Up past the 45. He only got 11, and we're going to go for it again. It's already getting dire in Minnesota. Fourth down and two. Nelson to the air. Short. Oh, my goodness. David Clark was short of the first down marker, and we have turned it over on downs again. This has easily been our worst performance on the season, maybe both offense and defense, as Oliver runs for another 10 yards. Northwest looking to add to this 31-7 lead. They spread it out with three wide receivers, and Oliver taking his shot to the sideline, and it is caught, but he did not get a foot in bounds, the ref says. So Northwestern settles for another field goal. It is a 34-7 game. Minnesota going back to the air, basically forced to at this point as Nelson finds David Clark over the middle for a 12-yard reception. And Minnesota is in Northwestern territory where they haven't spent much time today. First and 10. Nelson trying to air it out, and it is intercepted. Nelson is picked off by Van Hoos. That is the first interception and first turnover of the entire game for either side. But things have just gotten out of control today. We're down big time, 27 point game right now, late third quarter. And Northwestern has not really had any hiccups in their offense today. Their defense has played consistently well. Second down, back over the middle. This is Zot. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this one, but that's a first down reception again. And I thought our defense started playing a lot better once we started blitzing more and mixing it up. Not so much, just seven guys in coverage sitting back, but Northwestern has countered our blitzes with good screens and we're just not covering very well. Now into the five and this is Jones again just adding on to the score as Northwestern has scored 41 points on the day. And Minnesota so far would be a season low of seven points. This is David Clark returning once more three yards deep out of the end zone. Up past the 30. Has one man to beat at the 50. He got by him and David Clark. He's going to take this for a kickoff return for a touchdown. Now 41 to 14 as David Clark goes 105 to the house. That's something positive to take away from this game as you see the offensive comparison. And Northwestern has us beat in every category. And you'll see on screen the scoreboard has disappeared. It's something that happens every now and then. And Northwestern gets a screen out to Neal who has beaten us on the screen multiple times today. That's 18 yards. Oliver is going to keep it again, and the holes just keep getting bigger, it seems. We allowed a lot of rush yards last week, and now once again this week, most of them to the quarterback as they're in the red zone again. This is Jones up the middle, and he is gone. 20-yard rushing touchdown. Northwestern putting the hurt on us. Look at this. There's just... Nobody even contesting this. Northwestern's almost scored 50. The backups are in the game getting a few snaps. Mitch Leidner in with the twos. 
as he goes to work through the air, dumps it off to Kevin Martindale, and that's a gain of about four. So we're going to see a fourth down and three coming up for Minnesota. We bring out three wide receivers. Leidner back to throw, rolling out to his right on the run, and Doug Duckett dropped another one. That's his second drop today. Out comes the backup defense, and Leon Daniels is in that middle linebacker. And Jones takes the carry right up the middle. Nobody can test him until he gets about 14 yards on the ground. So Leon Daniels, it was so bad he got his first snap of the season. He goes down, but he's out there. He's getting a chance to play. And Minnesota goes down big at home. Zach Oliver, very nice day. Over 300 yards all purpose for him. And for us, it was a lot of little things that snowballed out of control. The big thing was the defense's inability to stop Northwestern, especially in the red zone where we usually are good at forcing some field goals, but we allowed way too many touchdowns. Final score is 51 to 14. But things got out of hand on the first drive, really. They had a third down, we missed the tackle on a screen pass, got a first down that led to a touchdown. Later, it was drops, sacks, incomplete passes, bad throws by Philip Nelson, some bad decisions too by me. But this was just a game where nothing went right. It didn't go well at all. And so we gotta put this one behind us, get ready for Illinois on this three game road trip upcoming. Not much is changing on the recruiting front. As you see some of the scores coming in, we do, however, have one more commit. We now have Corey Boyd, free safety from Hopewell, Virginia, a 6'2", pretty fast for a safety, got to develop his coverage a little bit, but I think we found ourselves a nice player here. He was a gem prospect that I found early in the preseason recruiting, and that is the one positive takeaway from this week, that and David Clark's kickoff return for a touchdown. But next week in Week 9, we have the Illinois Fighting Illini as we look for a bounce-back victory after our most disastrous performance of the entire season. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry for the very bad loss. We'll try to turn it around next week against Illinois in Week 9. See you guys later. Have a great day.